this real? Am I dreaming? My true money we will have take for What should I do? Representing yourself. Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story that you've told the police? Hide. I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they're going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now. Except that I did what I thought was right at the time. 
Okay. Since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of baloney? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I, I just... Well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. What if I were more than just a doodle? Hello, are you okay? What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I Never. How would you feel if I asked what happened to your weirdly shaped head? I didn't mean to offend. I was... Huh! Go bother someone else! Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since, our people are drawn without limbs. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the Oracle beyond the death fields. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you do, friend. Ah, no, I'm sorry. Don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Just take that ladder down. It's always a ladder down. Hello? You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, and it was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead. Though we know better than that. What is the Great Hole? Eons ago, we created a Great Hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you?
everything. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. So, wake up. Uh, uh, huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of class, okay? Sure, yeah, it won't happen again. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. <laughs> Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests before leaving. Hey, freak! Nobody likes a goody two shoes, Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Uh, maybe even make a friend or two. More friends than you'll ever have. <laughs> you kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he. Hey, what the hell, asshole? Are you alright, Sal? <sighs> I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. It'll just make things worse, trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding! I'm okay, really. Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, uh, hold on. I, 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 you can't. I, I'm. There. Looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick, I'll kill him! Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. Then he'll probably just haunt the school and we'd be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. <laughs> Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much even for me. So we're really just gonna let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent-up reach. There must be a reason. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switch bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal. And he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. <laughs> That's all we need. Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that.
Does that baloney smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Baloney Day last week, too? Oh, hey guys, don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of the day. Hey, group puddle. I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this baloney. Uh, maybe there's a batch of bad beef. Or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude, the shit is funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab and see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the baloney. Sounds like a plan. Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask about the baloney. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why do you want to know about baloney? Eh, something wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no. Uh, we, we were just wondering where. You kids go. Sit back in chairs now. No more questions. Uh, do you think we could just see the package or. No packages for you. Just box and chairs. Go on. Well, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. Though, I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? But while you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the bologna ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? She went to get some materials for me. I recommended she look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Be right back. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet is locked. I need something in there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm. Could use some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. 
In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. Teachers are in there eating lunch. Huh? What was that? I don't know. Sounded like they came from outside. I don't see anything. Uh, neither do I. Maybe it was those damn birds again. moment to sneak by. Then they all got distracted by something hitting the window. Was that you? Yeah, I threw a ball at the window. It definitely caught their attention. Did you get past? Yeah, good thinking with that distraction, dude. I saw her file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it, so I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can just take the file? No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. All right, you're the boss, Sally. So what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. been more than my best friend. He's family now. I, I don't know what I'd do without him. That's one of my paintings. I was gonna throw it out, but Larry insisted on keeping it. He said, great art doesn't need to be beautiful, as long as it conveys genuine emotion, and I feel the shit out of this man. I really do. of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. Just some of my textbooks. Todd suggested I take physics this year and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is fascinating and filled with mystery. Todd is never short in supplies for his inventions. I don't know how he does half the things he does. The guy is a genius. Todd and his boyfriend, Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy too. This potato light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed in class. I'm surprised it's still going. Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She calls them little dudes. Some of Ash's photos. One is an older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met these two. Oh, hey, that's me. I didn't know she had this in her locker. Ash's Polaroid camera. She's always snapping pictures with it. This could come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow it. Ash's camera to take a picture of the files. Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. Did you get it? Dude, the file is missing! What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. <laughs> Just jerking your chain, man. I got the picture. Oh, you butt nozzle. <laughs> Score! Let's take a look at it. I think I know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. You got it, dude.
got something for you. What's this? A photograph of Dirty? You take Dixon, huh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So, I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the bologna from? Are you so interested in bologna for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. It's local made by Miss Packard, 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meat for bringing him nice photograph. Thank you so much. Looks like someone tried to throw it out but missed the garbage. Hmm, it couldn't hurt to take a quick peek. I know we don't really know each other and you probably have your opinions of me. I thought maybe if I told you how I feel, things could be different. The truth is, I can't stop thinking about you. I'm crazy about you. I think you're amazing. But I know these feelings I have are wrong. It's not the way a boy should feel. Shame swallows me whole, just writing these words. My father would kill me, but I can't live in his shadow forever. I just... And there's just a bunch of scribbles after that. Man. Anyone in there? No death, fuckwad! Buzz off! Travis, were you just crying a second ago? Sally face? I no! What the hell? Can a guy get some privacy? Why do you hate me so much? Because you and your dumb friends are a bunch of homos. It's sick. It's not right. God will never love you. Why should I? You know we aren't all actually gay, right? I mean, besides for Todd. Todd is super gay. That's part of who he is, and I think it's wonderful. He's one of the kindest people I know. How could anyone hate Todd? Ugh. Is your father pushing these beliefs on you? Just because my dad is a preacher doesn't mean he owns me. I'm my own person. Yeah, but... Well, you seem so unhappy, man. Are you sure your dad isn't putting too much pressure on you? I bet it's tough being the son of such an intense man. You have no idea what it's like. I'm sorry, man. Don't feel sorry for me, Sally Face. I don't need your pity. We don't have to be enemies. You know that, right? I think under all of that anger, there's a good dude who's afraid to be himself. If you ever need someone to talk to, or if you need to get away from your dad for a while, you can hang out with me. What? Why are you being so nice to me? I don't think you're a bad person, Travis. You know, I don't really hate you. Or your friends. I didn't really think so. I... I guess... Well, I'm sorry I've been such an asshole. You don't deserve that. That means a lot to me. It really does. Thank you. And what I said about being here if you ever decide you want a friend, I meant that. Don't push your luck, Sally Face. Oh, here. I was gonna flush this down the toilet, but I guess you can have it. I found it on your desk. It's an envelope with my name on it. There's an old journal page inside. Thanks. Okay, now scram so I can have my alone time. And, uh... What? Don't tell anyone about this or you're dead. Uh, I mean... Just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I won't.
Got more bologna. Perfect. Kim said that it's made by Mrs. Packerton. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How can she make her own lunch meats? Oh, yeah. I, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I've moved here. She tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Mrs. Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright. Why don't you and Larry go check out Miss Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing the baloney. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Larry, I'll need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Damn, uh, she keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. <laughs> Got it open! Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and... Hold on, there's a hidden compartment. Man, there is some freaky stuff in here. What is it? Uh, I'm not sure. Little jars filled with what looks like spices. Maybe for cooking? Crystals are actually kind of cool. I wonder what Packerton uses these for. Strange metal object. Similar to Jim's puzzle box. This could be important. There's another one of these metal boxes. Like the, uh... <laughs> Shit! Is it happening again? Yeah, I... Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But... Never mind. Let's go check in with Tom Nashley. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However... I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chug for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after that, though. I'll need a few minutes to get it ready. That's cool. I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Let me 
Fisher, Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, junk, junk. Oh, hey, Sal Fisher, there's a letter for me. Hmm, no return address on it. That's weird. It's a page from that old journal. Sal, I had to go back into work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can do something this weekend. Love, Dad. Oops! Sorry, Gizmo! I didn't realize you were in here. There's something under the bed. It's... it's an old photo of Mom. I thought Dad threw them all away. Hi, Mom. I miss you. I hope that you're at peace. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. Dad's computer is on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I could figure it out. It won't turn back on. I hope it's not fried. Where did this come from? It's another letter with my name on it and an old journal page inside. Yo, what up, little bud? Not much. Just a typical day. That bad, eh? <laughs> How have you been? Everything is straight, my man. I can't complain. I bet I could use the sticky tack to keep this poster up. It worked! Sick. I couldn't get that damn thing to stay up. Here, a quarter for your troubles, bud. <laughs> Thanks. My pop was loaded and he used to give me a nickel for mowing his lawn. At the time, I thought he was just a cheapskate. He was teaching me a lesson. Teaching me the value of working for it, you see? Yeah. I think so. Hey, Mrs. Sanderson. How are you? I try to keep myself busy, otherwise I'll lose my mind. But I fear I'll never be able to leave these dreadful walls. You still haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately, no. I don't mean to sound grateful, though, babe. It's much more bearable here without that horrible demon running around. It's just so terribly grim. Sorry. I, I wish I could help more. Todd and I have been doing a lot of research, but... Hold on a moment, love. Yes, right here. Talking to me. Okay. Thank It's 
one of the missing pages to that old journal. abducted by aliens. This has to be one of those joke papers. Mom, hey, Megan. Have you seen my daddy anywhere? No. Uh, sorry. I, I still haven't seen him. Maybe he's passed on to a better place. I guess that's not so bad. And everybody here isn't so scared now, too. Even Mommy started talking to me a little. That's great. I'm glad she's finally speaking to you. Me too. <laughs> I hope that Daddy is happy wherever he is. I'm sure that he is. Okay, Megan. I'll see you later. Have fun. What's wrong? I keep hearing creepy noises. Like, what kind of noises? You know, creepy kinds. Like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just some mice in the walls or the building creaking. It is an old building. Mice? That's not any better. I bet it's nothing. You wanna hang out with me and the other guys? No, no, it's okay. Thanks, though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came with, I couldn't sleep for a week. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to tell you Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. She's very sweet once you get to know her, but we kind of bolted right when she came out. I know. I mean, I bet she's nice. I tried. It's just too scary. Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang with us. I know. Thanks, Sally Face. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should have been back already. Is there anything I can do? Got any chocolate? Chocolate always makes me feel better. No, sorry. I don't have any. Hello? Is anyone home? Huh. I could have sworn someone lived here. Another letter with my name on it. Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally. Are you boys off to another adventure? Something like that. I think that's so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. You're totally right about that. Yeah, you gotta seize the moment. Though sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know? Ray and I were just watching some television, and he passed right out like a little baby. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Uh, sure, I guess so. Uh, but you guys don't have a TV. Yeah! Isn't it so nice without all that noise? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I better be going. Evening, Sally. How are you on this fine day? Hey, Mr. Addison. I'm good. How are you? I'm swell, young sir. Addison tea, please and thank you. Coming right up, young sir. There 
that you all enjoy. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Do you like the new sign? Oh, I love it. Thanks to you and Larry, it feels like I have my own little tea house now. I do miss giving out my tea to the tenants. However, I simply couldn't afford to keep up with that. I'm glad you like it. And I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. Any new tenants? I'm afraid not. Though we do have someone coming in to look at a room next week, so hope is on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terrence. And if there's anything you ever need help with, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Goodbye. Good day. Oh. Hello, dear Sally. You sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes. I'm quite fine. I was just a bit distracted by my thoughts. You know me. Did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie we tell to ourselves. To create a false sense of hope. What do you mean? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending. Death. You can't know that for sure, Rose. And even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. <laughs> Miss Rosenberg? Hello? Where are you? Miss Rosenberg? <sighs> Goodbye, Rose. I get the feeling that you are ready for this. Whatever it is, I hope that wherever you are, you're happy now. Huh, there's a letter here with my name on it. It's a page from that old journal. What do you want, Sal? Just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just bought a cup. Hey, would you mind leaving the tea with me for a bit? I just love the aroma. Sure, I don't really care for tea anyway. You're the best, Sally. Hey, you know what? I've got something for you. Here, I got this chocolate bar for my Todd, but he didn't want it. His lost your game. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Morrison. Is there anything I can do? Got any chocolate? Chocolate always makes me feel better. Actually, yeah. I got this bar from Mrs. Morrison. Here, you can have it. Heck yes. Thank you, Sally Face. Oh, um, here. Can you take this? It's Larry's game. I was borrowing it. I got all the way to the bonus level. You know, after you get wings. But it's too hard after that. Cool, yeah. I can give it back to Larry.
I think Larry is in there, hun. Occupado, dude. Hi, Asal. How are you today? I'm okay. How have you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that need my attention. Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything we can help with at least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense to my mom. You know she's even more stubborn than me. Oh, hush, my little larbear. Mom, don't call me that. <laughs> oh, you love it. Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal. But I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around some will do me good, too. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? And if you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. Looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. It says, get well soon. Wishing you the best, Henry. There we go. 